Works like these show the canny ability of Scots, which, like any language, is always evolving to respond to wider developments going on in society. In the 16th century, it was the Wedderburn brothers changing lyrics to popular folk ballads. Today, it's the likes of young folk singer Iona Fife. Well, it's been genuinely really encouraging to us on our side of the shock to see the momentum that there is in Scotland. But it's not just a momentum for old fellas like me. It's the young generation over here that is the most exciting of all. I think that Scots language has become cool again, not just because there's been this renaissance of more funding and more media attention. It's because we're looking at things like social media and TikTok and Twitter and Instagram. And folk have realised that Scots isn't just an old man playing a guitar in the back of a folk club. It's a young, thriving, living tradition that is part of a continuum that keeps ebbing and flowing and we're making it innovative. Take me back to the summertime when you held me in your arms. Never thought you'd do me hair. I hate sick a lot to learn. Take me back when we felt so free when you thought I was your best. Knew I'm speeding at the rest before you left me. When I sell albums, um, they go all over the world and I'm so proud that I can share my language and it's no barrier. People like it because it represents a tradition, it represents the country and, and actually nobody has ever said, I don't understand you. And that's no because Scots isn't a language, it's because we have a mutual intelligibility, we English. Take me back to the summertime when you held me in your arms. Never thought you'd do me hair. I hear sick a lot to learn, but you take me back when we felt so free. Scots has such a beautiful connection with other Northern European countries, and I really like that. For you left me in the cold. It also helps young kids to feel more confident about their own sense of cultural identity. But in order to do that, we can't be shoving barns down their throats. We have to give them something that they're familiar with. And that's why I decided to record Love Story by Taylor Swift. Because when I was growing up, I did not hear the Gruffalo and Scots. I did not hear Harry Potter and Scots or Diary or Wimpy Wayne. I did not see myself represented. But now I think that young parents growing up are going to see themselves a wee bit in mirror, whether that be on social media or maybe on the TV or within music. And that is really important. Iona recently won a campaign to get the music streaming giant Spotify to add Scots to its list of recognised languages and is passionate about fostering links among Scots-speaking communities. We often think of our connection as being with the west coast of Scotland, but away up in the east where you're from, what's your perspective on, on us and what we're doing? I feel like because we've been living in this online digital world, the idea of west and east in Scotland, we didn't really do that anymore. I feel like we're all in this community of practice together. And guess what? We're all friends. This community is, is an ever-changing thing, but it's a really strong thing. And I hope that there's mere bridges being built to put the two all together. 